If you're interested in next-gen, fast, high-capacity memory, then Samsung's got a product for you. What's your minimum specification? If you want an independent cloud services provider for home servers, VPNs, or clients, consider Linode and sign up today at linode.com slash techtechpotato for a free $100 60-day credit. A recent Gartner performance report shows the Node's topology offers almost double the database performance per dollar than other public cloud services. So for the next few days, we're going to be covering the technology conference called Hot Chips. A few of you may have seen my video on it before. Let's put a card up there. There's also going to be two watch party live streams. So if you're a member of the show, go watch those live streams along with us and join in with the chat. Or if you're not part of the show, you can still follow along with the live blogs I'll be doing for both Monday and Tuesday. Our goal is to go for about 10 hours on both days. So uh, thumbs up if you stick around for those. But the first news out of Hot Chips comes today. Now today is technically the tutorial day. It's not usually something that we cover directly, but alongside the tutorials, there are a bunch of posters. Now it's hard to do posters in a virtual conference. So what everybody who's submitted a poster has done is instead submitted about 10 to 12 slides showcasing their new research or their new product. And it's Samsung here who have got a 512 gigabyte DDR5 module to show us. Now, it's not just DDR5 4800, which is what we expect the first specification of DDR5 to be, but it's actually DDR5 7200, 7200 mega transfers per second. This is adding almost double what we expect for the standard DDR5 to come to the market. And Samsung is saying that they're going to be ready to supply high volume 512 gigabyte DDR5 modules by the end of the year. So modern servers based on DDR4 might be running 16 gigabyte modules, 32, 64. There's even 128 gigabyte modules. This is one from Crucial. This is a DDR4 2666 module. And the latest modules can actually go up to 256 gigabytes. So moving to 512 gigabytes will enable systems with eight channels of memory, times by two for two DIMMs per channel, that's 16 memory slots per socket with 512 uh, gigabyte modules from Samsung. That means you can get eight terabytes in a socket, or if we're going to get more memory channels in the next generation of server products, then we're going to get more and more capable terabyte systems. You will be able to get servers with more memory than storage. It's actually really funny if you try and install Windows on a system with, say, 16 of these with two terabytes of memory and you have a one terabyte SSD, Windows will throw up an error saying, your swap file will not fit on this drive. Yeah, it's really amusing when you have more memory than storage in a system. So Samsung is introducing a bunch of new technologies for their 512 gigabyte DDR5 module. One of them is, uh, what's it called here, Decision Feedback Equalizer because you're just going at such fast transfer rates, you need to be able to manage and get your signals out of the data transfer. They're also introducing high K metal gate technology into their power management controller. Now high K metal gate was done on CPUs at 45 nanometer. Now we're seeing it into the power management IC, the PMIC on these DDR5 memory modules. Now you may remember that DDR5 has its own onboard power management integrated controller, PMIC. Uh, this moves from the motherboard to the module. So if you have a motherboard like this, which costs 20 pounds, there's a video going to come on this kind of soon, then you won't have to worry about exactly what uh, power management control the motherboard vendor has done, and you can have it directly on the memory vendor's product. This means that you can manage a clear, consistent power supply and ultimately get the best out of your memory without having to rely on the motherboard manufacturer providing for your memory. The other angle here is stacking memory. So you may or may not know, but DRAM chips are actually layers of uh, essentially uh, DRAM cells bound together with through silicon vias. And normally we have four high stacks in memory. This module here uses four high stacks. And Samsung is saying that they can do eight high stacks now, but with a lower Z height than the four high stacks. They're saying that their four high stack on DDR4 was 1.2 millimeters. They can now do an eight high stack within one millimeter. Now you may think, well, 
that's got to be increasing in thermals, right? It's not easy to get that much memory on a module, especially when you're trying to, you know, thin it down. Samsung has said that they've got new cooling technology. They're using new cooling materials to help with the thermals there. And it's been fully simulated to be able to cope for server environments. Now that's the key thing here. These are server modules. What a 512 gigabyte module, an RDIM, an LRDIM does for server, but what exactly can that mean for consumers? What it does mean is that we may see DDR5 with double the capacity of DDR4. Now there's lots of DDR4 out there that are 32 gigabyte DDR4 3200 modules. Now imagine going to a 64 gigabyte DDR5 module. If you've got two channels on your CPU and you can do two DIMMs per channel, your maximum memory for your consumer system now goes from 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes if you put four of those 64 gigabyte modules on there. As it stands, Samsung hasn't stated whether they're doing 64 gigabyte consumer modules yet. No doubt that these uh, DDR5 uh, 250, uh, sorry, 512 gigabyte modules are using ICs that are going to be high value and they're going to want to put them into servers first. You can bet your bottom dollar that servers built on Sapphire Rapids and Genoa are going to be using these, especially if you need uh, databases inside your system. Enabling these on Intel alongside uh, next generation Optane is probably going to be, you know, we're going to see some big high capacity, high performance systems, and I can't wait to get my hands onto those. My minimum specification here is really, let's see this boil down into the consumer space. Please, Samsung. We're waiting. We're waiting. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have now a private Discord server. And if you want access to that, become a Patreon member and it'll instantly add you as long as your emails are linked. You can join the Patreon for as little as $1.50 a month and it all goes back into helping the channel. Thank you for your support.